If you guys need FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out x3game.com. Their link will be down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. If you guys want to go and get your own real life foot cards, then go and check out customfootcards.com down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. Not only can they make any card that's currently in the game, they can also make completely custom cards like this pro card they made for me. So go check them out, link in the description. You right guys, it's CapGun Tom here and welcome back to episode number 16 of Milan Manchester Madrid. Now first things first, we need to update checklist because Team of the Week has rolled around once again and there are more players that need to be added to the checklist. So first up, we've got a big one on the Milan checklist. We are going to have to update and add the inform Handanovic, 88 rated overall. Had a look at his price earlier, he's about 100,000 coins. The normal card is about 30,000 coins, so it's not that big a difference in those two cards like I don't mind paying an extra 70k for an informed hand Anovich. The other player that we're going to have to add to the checklist is going to be on the Manchester side and it is going to be the inform Otamendi. That inform and special column getting so full already I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna to have to add another column to the checklist and condense everything down because it's just getting so busy over there. Anyway, let's dive into the episode. First thing we're gonna do is gonna head over to our trade pile. As you can see, we have sold 69 items. Banter. Um, we're on 627,000 coins, so everything is looking pretty good for us at the moment. Loads of bronze stuff selling from the bronze pack method. I'll talk more about that in a second. What we're gonna be doing in this episode is I'm going to be doing some uh, divisions gameplay which I'll be doing live because I want to practice get ready for the weekend league uh, we're gonna make some signings we're gonna do some draft it's pretty epic we've also got some packs as well from uh, squad builder challenges and stuff so you guys should really enjoy this episode because there is loads and loads of stuff going on now if you don't know what the bronze pack method is or what I'm talking about I talked about in the last episode effectively what you do is you open 400 coin gold or bronze packs and then you sell everything you can and store everything you can't due to squad builder challenges there are some bronzes that are going for absolutely loads of coins um, very 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 high prices for them and uh, anything you can't sell you put into your club and then you pull it out when a squad builder challenge comes around that does effective and you sell all that for a whole load of coins. Now you just saw me, a couple of really nice little snipes, I was showing my stream just uh, how to snipe Turkish League Silvers and I got two absolutely epic ones, Sinaz and uh, Dursun both go for 3 or 4k, so great prices there for those players because obviously there is the squad builder challenge for the Turkish League. Um, and as you can see here, I've opened a bronze pack to show you what I'm looking for. Here we go, this is the sort of player that is making me bank, uh, Turkish League bronze in there, there's also all kinds of other players as well. If you're wondering, Tom, how do I know what I'm looking for in bronze packs? Well, if you go to my Discord, there'll be a link to it down in the description. I've actually started a text channel called uh, Squad Builder Challenge Players or something like that. You go to that, you have a look, and it'll tell you everything that is selling at the moment due to the Squad Builder Challenges. And when a new Squad Builder Challenge comes out, then we'll remove the old ones that don't apply anymore and add the new players that you're looking for. And you can use that to clear out your club. You can use that to, when you open a bronze pack or any pack, you can see exactly what might be selling and you can be looking out for it so you don't miss it because there's loads of coins that can be locked away in your club and you can just see how much coins I'm making from bronze players here. Right, okay, before we get into all of this foot champions practice, which I'm going to do all live, we are going to go and pick ourselves up an informed player for the team and that is going to be a Cardi. So we're going to go get his new inform 86 rated card because he got this for scoring a uh, hat trick in the derby. I think we'll take this one. Yeah, we'll take the one with Sniper on it, no problem. Okay, so that is one down. He costs 58,000 coins. It's not the end of the world, though, because we do actually have, I think, like 500, well, we had 640,000 coins. Now we're going to go and do a really big signing. So here we go. This is, this is going to be pretty painful for the bank balance. And I'm not sure if he's going to be better than what we're currently using. It's going to be none other than Zlatan, big Zlatan. So one signing for each of the two teams. I think we're paying about 108k for him, maybe just a little bit less. Let's just, just roll down the price. Nothing for 103, nothing for 104. 105, here we go, right, okay, so which one do we want? I think we just want this one, maybe the artist, maybe. Let's just put the price down a little bit, see if another one pops up. Yeah, okay, we'll take this one then. We'll take this one for 105k, absolutely no problem. That takes us all the way down to 480k, but I think you guys are going to agree that is definitely worth it because... Zlatan could be a huge player for us, I'm not sure. Obviously, I've loved Rashford up until this point, but maybe Ibrahimovic is going to do the business for us. Right, okay, so first things first, we're going to remove Icardi 
his regular card, and of course we're going to go and put his new inform into the team. Mm -mm -mm. That looks pretty good to me, I'm not going to lie. Obviously we'll sell the old Icardi, and now Icardi will get that check mark on the checklist, and we're moving forward with the series. Still need to get that one to watch Kessie and the new inform Perisic, or screen Perisic as well, to be able to sort of like start or finish off the Milan team for now. Okay, and then if we go to Manchester next, and of course we are going to be losing our beloved Rashford. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. I think I'm going to put him on the bench for now. Who should I swap out for him? I guess we'll take Sané out for now. And then we are going to swap him for Ibrahimovic. So that is a big, big player. I'm excited to use this Ibrahimovic as well. I believe it's supposed to be very good. In fact, you saw me in Foot Champions this weekend really struggle against him. He absolutely banged them away against me. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. You know, 82 physical, 88 shooting. I mean, he's not fast, but he's still pretty good and very good on the ball as well. So there you go, Ibrahimovic in the squad, which means we now get to give him the check mark on the checklist. And I believe that might be our most expensive signing so far. I think that is the most expensive signing so far. So we are moving forward nice and well. Okay, so here are our current standings in Division 6. We've won 3, drawn 1 and lost 0. We're going to go and basically play our way through a whole load of Division games today so that I can get some practice online for Weekend League. We managed to improve every Weekend League so far and that's because I've been putting a lot of time into playing the game and just playing more will definitely improve me and I want to get used to using like Ibrahim Vachan and Inform Akadi for the Weekend League as well. Okay, so our opponent is using a 3-4-3 BPL side with Rashford up top. We should win this though because he's got 3 at the back and we got 3 up front which is just not a good combination that's gonna go in nice Mkhitaryan simple scoop turn bangs it away this guy's got a hell of a shot on him Ibra in the space oh Ibra could have got his debut goal there but it's denied by the post penalty we're just gonna bang it down the middle Ibrahimovic, debut goal from the penalty spot. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, he's run straight through me. That was bad for me. Very, very bad for me. That was nice. That was very nice for him. I give him that. That was a great move. Like my players were all shifting right. He went left. That should be a goal. Nice. That's where three at the back really lets you fall down. It's just too easy. Just too easy to get in behind with the left and right forwards. Oh, nice. That's a goal. Hello? Oh, he just dances his way through. He just dances his way through to make it 5-2. Oh, he got a goal back. Goodness me, what am I doing there? Slightly. Oh, for goodness sake, man. Why is it 4-5? What am I doing? I'm so not concentrating right now. Oh, well, he actually got that back as well. So now he's got a chance. Oh, no, he's just going to run at me for Rashford. It's actually gone in. I can't believe this is a draw. This is so not a draw of a game. Oh, dear. That was bad for me. Very, very bad. I really should have won that one. Oh, well. Right, more Concentration required. We're going up against a La Liga meets Serie A meets Bundesliga hybrid. Not particularly good players. We really should get a victory win or a win here. Nice. Try that Icardi. There he is. Oh, three minutes in. Icardi gets a goal. Hello, Inform Icardi. Welcome to the squad, bud. Icardi! Oh, we just keep on hammering him and hammering him and hammering him until we get the space to get the goal. Let's go. Icardi for the hat trick, and there it is. Icardi bangs his hat trick on his debut. New inform card. Welcome to the club, buddy. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. We're almost promoted. We're almost promoted. Okay, so we're now coming up against a very, very strong team. Uh, he's got. Legend Costa, Rui Costa. Uh, he's got Player of the Month Mane in there. He's got one to watch, uh, Aurier. Looks like a very solid squad. Ah, he's through. God damn it. Yeah. Bad moment, bad moment for me there. I knew he was gone. Moved the man up, let him in, and then because it's Rui Costa, he's always going to score that, unfortunately. Hit that. Oh my god, how has that not gone in? Holy moly, Foster made a mistake then. Anthony 
Oh, Mikatarian, that's beautiful. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Done it. Eventually, just keep taking shots at these goalkeepers that always parry it. They're great at shot stopping, but not catching it. And eventually, they put it out in front of one of your players. There we go. Look at that. Mikatarian's just there. Good work. Oh, uh, sugar. No, I passed it straight to him. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, that's another point. That's another two points dropped there, really, more than anything. I shouldn't have. I, I don't know what happened in that goal that he scored on the second half. That's really annoying. Going back at it again with the Manchester team. This guy's using a pretty strong weekend-looking team. He's got Carrasco in there. He's got Jesus, Sterling, Umtiti, Koscielny. Yeah, it's a solid squad. Ibra. There we go. Nice little finesse from Ibra to put us 1-0 ahead in this first minute. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me that he's going to score here. What is this game doing? <laughs> it's just... Uh, sometimes... <sighs> Mickey! Good play from Silky. Unlucky with the rebound to come back, but it came back to Mkhitaryan anyway, so good stuff. He's just not closing me down. Not closing me down. Easy. Smash that one away. Oh my god. As if he just took that away. Ibra. Let's go, Ibra. Oh, the hat trick was there for him. Let's see if we can get Ibra on the head of this. We can. Oh, Ibra's going to be an absolute monster at near post goals, isn't he? I can just tell. There we go. There's the rage quit. That's what we're looking for. And now we're only one game, one win away from getting into the next division. Okay, now we're going in with the Milan team. And uh, yeah, this guy's using a 4-3-3 BPL side with Ozil in there. So it's got Fellaini, who always seems to be a lot of trouble. More than his price tag would suggest. I shouldn't have come in. Icardi. Oh my lord, this inform Icardi is godly, mate. That is a ridiculous finesse shot. That is legit ridiculous, that finesse shot. Go on, Icardi. Oh, that left foot is good as well. The left foot is good as the right. There you go, Icardi. Just walk it in, mate. Walk it in. It's going to come back to him. Wow. Might make mistakes there, but it's crazy that the ball actually came straight back to him from a tackle and he scores first time. Hey, wait a minute. Piss off, game. Piss off. How's he just walking through me like that? There we go. We held on even though we got a red card in the last couple of minutes. And that means we're going to be headed into Division 5. There it is. Confirmation that we've won the division. And we get 6,000 extra coins to go with it as well. Nice. We shouldn't have drawn so many games. We probably should have like won that a long time ago. I don't know what I was doing there. So... Almost everything has sold. Loads of stuff sold. Look at that. Oh, dollars, dollars everywhere. Right, okay. We got a relist of Cardi and we've got a few other things as well. Oh my god, this guy didn't even sell. How much are we saying? He's like 6k at least, surely. Five point I'll put him up for 5.5. No problem. No problem. We've got to say a fond farewell to Akadi, who we're gonna actually be listing for 6,900 coins. When we bought him for 3k. That's some good profit. Of course, we did obviously spend a whole load of coins as an inform, so it's not that big a win, but at least it's something. There we go. Let's get him up for there we go. There we go. Very nice. And we're saving this guy to see if he manages to get into the um, into the marquee matchups later. They'll be out for you when you watch this, but for me, they're not out yet. Okay, so we have done some more trading, more listing of bronze players, etc, etc. You can see there we sold that reed for I think about the 6,000 coin marks. There's the guy you saw me get in the bronze pack earlier on that I sold for about 1,000 coins. So there is a lot of coins to be made. Another nice little snipe that I'm pretty proud of here. Uh, Bero from, I think it's Trabson of Spore. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that team name. I got him for 200 coins. Again, he's going to be selling for around the 3k mark. So we're making another 2,000 coins. You're probably like Tom. We've seen these little 2,000 
thousand coin snipes that you're making all the time. You know, we want to see some more action. But for me, as a trader, I'm a bit of a grinder, and I like to make my coins sort of like over time. I don't want to get one big hit every two weeks, like for example, sniping a, a legend or an icon at minimum price and selling them on for like 200k. I'd rather make 300k in small little doses like that regularly because I think it's more um, reliable. Anyway, we've done the marquee matchups. I managed to get everything in the marquee matchups, basically didn't have to do anything like buying any players, it all free because it came from my club because of the bronze pack method, all the stuff stored up. And then I had a whole load of stuff like from the bronze pack method left over that I could then use to submit into the squad. Now you saw me submit a Michael Carrick into the squad builder challenge. Um, we will be buying him back later in the series. I did remove his check mark from the checklist just because I, you know, he's going to be going for a premium while this marquee matchup is out and I don't want to waste a whole load of coins. So there you go, we managed to get a whole load of stuff for the uh, marquee matchups. We're going to be saving those, or I'm saving these packs until Wednesday at 6pm when the new team of the week came out. So if I got a team of the week player, I would actually be able to sell them for a premium rather than getting maybe one of last week's informs um, and having to sell them for like 10k or something. It's just not that attractive, is it? So I thought if I open them at 6, I'll get a better chance of making a whole load of coins if I do get an inform at all. Now continually clearing out my club using that discord um, sort of like text channel. If you go check it out it will tell you everything that's selling. I've just keep having to clean out my club over and over again. I'm just making so many coins for it so you need to check that out. Okay guys so I saved my marquee matchup packs until 6 p.m. It's Wednesday and I want to get something good out of these packs. So we've got a whole load of stuff. We might as well get the rare consumable one out of the way first. It's going to give us loads of stuff that we can either sell, keep or use. So loads of fitness cards, Position modifiers, contract stuff like that, very good. Uh, we basically did the whole marquee matchup for free. So we're going to do the Jumbo Premium Gold Player Pack first, or not Player Pack, just a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. It's a 15k pack. So fingers crossed. Let's go. Let's go. We've got ourselves Bursa. Not particularly good. Not particularly good. Next up, a rare gold pack. So a 25k pack. Come on, please. It's not got boards. Buddy, come on. You've got to give me some boards. I can't deal with not getting boards. It's too upsetting. Fernando Torres, who I believe should already be in our club. I thought we already had him. I'm pretty sure we already had him. Unless I accidentally sold him or something. Okay, well, there's, there's an Atletico Madrid player that we can add to the checklist at the very least. Prime gold players pack. Come on. Still no boards, there's still no boards, come on! I'm not even gonna watch that. You're not, I know I'm getting coats, I don't want coats. No one wants coats, man. We've got Murillo, Lenglet, again. That is a pretty garbage pack, isn't it? That is such a bad, flip it out. Flip it out. All right, and the Electrum Players pack. Come on, baby, please give me it. Please give me... It's not got boards again. I might as well just give up. I might as well just give up. I might as well just give up. What is this? Absolute garbage. I don't think there's even any silver players I can sell in there. Oh, that's just disgusting. That's disgusting. So a pretty disappointing set of uh, packs right there from the marquee matchups. I really was hoping to get something a lot better and I actually got something a lot better on my main, or not my main account, on my Xbox account, I should say. This is actually my main account where I'm doing all my playing. I've played four games of FIFA outside of this account. That is it. Literally, that is it. I've opened a lot of packs on my Xbox account, but I'm not really using the, the account for anything other than just, I don't know, storing coins? I don't know what I'm doing with it. But anyway, um, from those marquee matchups, I actually managed to do them all for free um, because all the players were already in my club from the bronze pack method. And as I said, if you want to go check out that Discord channel so you know what is in Squad Builder Challenges, what you should be saving, what should be getting out of your club, selling, because it's only for a limited time that these players will be going for something. You need to capitalise it on it the most because you can make thousands and thousands of coins just by going through your club and clearing out the garbage that you don't need but someone else does need. Now um, after the bad packs everyone was like Tom go and make yourself rage some more. 
go and do a foot draft. And after the other day, I was like, oh, I don't want to ever play a foot draft again. If you didn't see it in the last episode, you should go back and watch it. But we played foot draft and it did not go particularly well for us. Um, we ended up getting knocked out in, I think, the final, then the then the, the quarterfinals and then the semis. And we got like nothing back for it. But that everyone in the stream loves watching drafts. And because this is my main account and where I'm going to be playing all my games, you know, I don't mind playing it. I don't mind risking the 15k to potentially get a good return. So hopefully that's going to happen for us today. Now you can see that we start off with Bale and then we get ourselves a nice little um, Rashford but unfortunately we don't get offered another striker at any point throughout the entire draft. Like there's no strikers that I could have used that would have you know helped us in this sort of draft. Um, really really frustrating because it meant that like Bale was not going to be on full chem and it just made the hybrid really really difficult to build. Obviously I would have liked to have gone on down the line of just literally building a full like um, like La Liga team, that's the easiest way to do draft, just build a full La Liga team with Ronaldo Suarez and Bale in it, or Messi or whatever, um, but it just wasn't allowing me to do that, it just wasn't giving me the right players, so um, I started trying to look for a BPL, sort of like uh, Serie A hybrid, it just really wasn't working out for me particularly well, um, and I thought, you know what, we'll have Bale on the bench and then, you know, sub him in and out and stuff like that, as, uh, as you do with draft, you know, if you can't fit him in, you just sort of like you just put them in when the game starts, don't you? Because you want to have full chemistry on all your players. Um, but this was probably the worst draft that we've done so far. We got so many very, very bad players. Um, not so much bad players. I mean, we got average, average to good players. But unfortunately, they just didn't link together, the ones we did get. And it was just an absolute nightmare to build this team. So I did the best that I could. Um, but we end up with a team that's on like pretty bad chemistry. I think we end up with about maybe 97 chemistry. Um, loads of players off chem and uh, no manager. I mean, we've got a bad goalkeeper as well, which is just an absolute disaster, really. So I didn't have high hopes for this draft at the very least. You can see what I end up doing here. Um, we sort of go with um, Parolo in the centre mid position. We've got uh, Damian in there. We've got Serie A goalkeeper. We've got Barzagli. And I end up putting in um, the other centre back as well, a story in, instead of... Um, a story instead of, uh, what is it? Is it, is it, I can't remember his name. Why can't I not? Uh, Alderweireld, Alderweireld, that's what I'm trying to say. I was like, it's not Vertonghen, it's the other one, Alderweireld. Yeah, so there we go. So this is how the team sort of looks after we've played around with it and got as much chem in it as possible. My idea was that Bale would come on a striker, we'd put Rashford out to the right wing, we'd play Modric through the middle, or Godrich, because he's just such a good player. And uh, that's that was how it was going to work. I mean, like, there's so many players that are off chem in that. It was just like, we're never getting anywhere. But... I wasn't like, you know what, I'm going to rage quit and come out because that's a waste of 15k. I was going to play it as hard as I could and see where we could get to. Um, as you can see, we don't actually get any managers that give us any chem either, which was a bit of a kick in the teeth. But we do end up, as I, th I thought we didn't end up with full chem, but after we switched it around and put the weaker players in, we do end up with full chem. So we end up with full chem, but weak players in the squad, um, especially in our midfield and maybe in our left back position as well. I really don't rate Damian, hence why I haven't used him in this, in, in, in this entire series so far. Now our first team, that's what I wanted. That's the sort of team I was looking to build. Like a really nice sort of like La Liga team with maybe another league thrown in. Um, he does have a weak goalkeeper however but I can't talk because I've got a weak one as well he has Ronaldo, Benzema and Bale I just have Bale so um, a Bale abuse was pretty much the order of the day in this draft and uh, you can see there we do actually score a goal with someone who's not Bale uh, Parolo manages to cut back inside and get the goal there uh, then we actually play Parolo through and it turns out that Parolo is something of a monster I'm not going to lie he is involved in so many of the goals in this from that left centre mid position it is kind of filthy anyway you can see here he gets back into it 2-1 at this point with Ronaldo but we finish him off in the 90th minute look at that little bit of luck there I think the ball ricochets off one of my players or his players and goes past uh, his goalkeeper it's luckily we did score that though because he managed to get one back with Ronaldo in the dying seconds of the game so we're through to the uh, the quarterfinals that's uh, that's the sort of start we wanted and we come up against this this guy has a silver goalkeeper in it so I was like okay look at my lips I'm like yep this could this could work out really well but he does have some dangerous players in there nonetheless and um, we'll have to see how we do against this one so let's get into the game and uh, I think this wasn't too difficult or too difficult a game. As you can see, he does take the lead through Griezmann. Um, kind of frustrating, but Insigne, I have to say, I have to say this right now, like completely killing the train of thought. Insigne, although he got an assist there, he is bad. Do not use him. He is very, very bad. He just did nothing for me other than that very easy pass into Bale. Um, throughout the entire thing. I ended up having to sub him out for Neymar. So I ended up bringing on 
Bale for uh, Sterling and putting him at striker. Modric came on for the non-rare Roma centre mid. And then um, we brought on uh, Neymar for for Insigne because it was garbage. Anyway, we won the second round, which is good. You would expect, I'm ex like as a player, I would expect myself to get to the semi-final minimum every single draft. Um, not that I think that will pay out enough each time to, to make your coins back. I think you have to be winning the draft pretty consistently, maybe winning it one in every two times to actually make your coins back and then maybe getting a good finish on the other one. Um, but yeah, we, we go into this game and this is the, if you should go, okay, you need to start coming to my streams because you'll see me play this live and a draft gets me crazy. It makes me go crazy because the gameplay in it is just ridiculous. Like everything goes in. It's like legit everything. It's like the sliders are like up 10 points or something on shooting because nothing doesn't go in. It's just crazy. So uh, you can see we've already got four goals in 35 minutes. When would you ever see that in foot champs? I mean, you do see it from time to time, but not as regularly as I've seen it in foot champions. We managed to finally take the lead uh, through Bale, but he managed to come back with Ronaldo, three all. You'd expect that from the Ronaldo, just a simple ball through to him, and he's just it's just movement, it's just superior to anyone. Um, we managed to get back into it here. The ball comes, ricochets out off his goalkeeper, and there's Neymar to put that one away. So that's, that's pretty good, pretty happy about that. Um, but I was trying to hold the ball, trying to make sure that the game ended, and look at that, I was like, like that's scripting for days and then even more scripting as he like puts the he, the first one was a pass through my legs the second one was the most unbelievable back hill I was like what is this going on and that was in extra time so I was like our oh, oh, goose is cooked but I thought you know what just just keep playing the way you you, you know you can score and uh, we do actually end up scoring with Bale and you're probably thinking Tom you're about to go to a penalty shootout but no look at this Lovely passing once again. This is a great ball from Modric. I have to say that is pinpoint perfection right there. Rashford cuts back. He puts it away. It's 6-5. I was really, really happy with that because I thought I was going out when we conceded that goal in extra time. I thought he'd just shut the game down. But draft being draft, you just can't stop the goals from going. And so 6-5, 11 goals in that game. And that's why draft gets me nutty because I can't stand conceding. Like I can, I'll happily win a 1-0 game or lose a nil uh, like by one goal. But I can't handle conceding for like five goals in a game. It just drives me nutty. Even if I've won. Like it, that game drives me nutty even though I'd won. So um, we go into the final. Here's our chance. And uh, our opponent has a very nice three at the back team. But it is a three at the back team. And we are using three up top. A 4-3-3. Three, three, and it just is just. It's just so easy to break someone down. If they have got a three at the back. And you're using three up top. I've got to say. If you see someone come up against you online. Using three backs. Just switch straight into a 4-3-3. Three, three, regardless of your play really fit the formation because look at this this is just too easy for me too easy to get down that wing you know he commits any of his center backs that way that is it we are immediately in because we're passing to the man that he commits get a little bit of luck there 3-1 we're looking good for a win in this draft we're looking even better when we go through with Bale in the uh, 63rd minute we make it 4-1 and that is pretty much game so I was absolutely ecstatic you know this is going to be my first draft win of FIFA 18 um, he does get one back but it was too little too late especially since we managed to finish him off Parolo Parolo Godly player, godly player, and that's how the game ended. Okay, my stream convinced me once again to play draft. I didn't want to, they made me do it, we've played it, we've won it. I don't know what to say, we've won foot draft. So let's go and have a look at what our prize is at. Please God, give me something good, don't give me the garbage bogey prize. Okay, a gold pack and a rare players pack. We got a 50k pack! Woo, okay, okay, please Lord. Make it a good one. We need some stuff on this account. We need some more coins. Okay, so here we are in the store. I'm going to open the silver reward pack really quick. Because I did some uh, objectives. Some daily objectives. Oh, and we got a player that we can actually sell. Very nice. How much? How much? 1k? 900? Yeah, I'll pick him up for 1,000. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's a very good silver gift pack or silver reward pack right there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Right, the gold pack. What's the gold pack going to bless us with? Come on now. Not boards. Not boards. It's got a rare player in it though. That's something. That is something at the very least. Zaha. That's actually pretty decent. I'm not sure if he sells. Maybe for a thousand. Maybe. Right, we'll store all this and we'll deal with it later. Stuff that we can use in there. Stuff we can sell. But it's all about this 50k pack. This is what we grinded our bum off in the draft for. To get this rare players pack. That last comeback in extra time in the semi-finals. Getting us to the final which we breeze through. Oh please let it be worth it. 
I beg you, EA, make it worth it. Alright, Flair. Boards are dropping. It's not in form. It's not a screen card. It's Greek. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. Cavani. I will take a Cavani. 87 rated. I was getting confused with the flipping flag. I was like, what is going on? I think I've got Suarez. But no, it turns out to be Edison Cavani, who's still a fantastic player. I'm sure we can sell him for a good amount of coins. Anything else? Anything else? Not really. Not really. It's literally just Suarez. Uh, not Suarez. It would be much better if it was Suarez. It's literally just Cavani. But he does go for a tasty 28,000, maybe 30,000 coins. So once you add that to all the other stuff we've got, because this pack discards for 7,000... Which we probably won't do. We probably won't discard it for 7,000. We might try and sell some of the stuff or use it in squad builder challenges. We're probably looking at about 35k from that. Plus, like, the other pack as well. So maybe about 40k total. I don't think that's pretty... I don't think that's... I don't think that's particularly bad, you know. That is, that is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, guys, that is going to finish off the episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, drop it a big thumbs up. Go back and check all the videos that you've missed down in the description in the playlist. Make sure you go and subscribe to the Discord, subscribe to the channel. Do all of that good stuff. That would be absolutely epic. In the next episode, you're going to see our Foot Champions Gold 1 rewards plus some Foot Champions gameplay. So make sure that you subscribe for that, and I will see you next time. Peace!